my attitude toward public service is that it that basically uh, is uh, that we're here to serve the public. Um, that there is uh, uh, on on all different levels. I mean, an experienced attorney who's elected obviously has a social contract with the people to to make the system work for the people. Uh, the infrastructure, uh, both again legal, practical, economic. The ro the, the role, therefore, of the city attorney as well as anybody in the office would be to be consistent with that role, get the city council primarily to make to do their job, to make decisions, to to make policy decisions. Um, what we're talking about is their job under our system of government here in Los Angeles is kind of all three branches of government combined into one. We have the executive function, we have the legislative function, we really have a quasi-judicial function, particularly on land use appeals. It's all combined into one. These people have to be made to uh, reconcile those conflicting economic, political, and legal interests. Uh, and like any attorney with a client, again, what we're talking about here is serving the public and saying, okay, if there's a problem, there's more than one way to basically solve the problem. Uh, there's more, more than one way to attack the problem. I think if we bring in um, the, the, the relevant um, actors involved, the relevant interests involved, again, identify the issues, try to reconcile that, uh, uh, then uh, develop structure, provide people with the information, then we can have the basis of, I think, a decent debate by the city council, an informed debate. People then will feel better about the result no matter what. I think there will be less government by litigation, more government by really good legislation, uh, and we can accomplish, uh, again, the idea of, of uh, serving the people. So in terms of promoting people in the office, obviously it's a matter of uh, being establishing fair criteria, um, job qualifications, job requirements, and you know what, somehow or other, I think uh, you, you end up with a bell curve, you know, and, and, and people who want uh, to perform and, and go that extra mile, uh, you know, will be able to do so. So it's, that's, I think, uh, uh, but again, we're, we're back to kind of what I said with regard to the second question. I would look to try to draw my guidance, my inspiration, uh, the imaginative component uh, that really is required to move the office forward from the people that um, would be helping me accomplish um, my broader political vision as well. And, and, and one final point I think is important to emphasize. The city attorney, w I, was, I was doing some research on the, on the charter, and the city attorney position, there was some discussion whether it should be elected or appointed. It decided on an elected position. That's really important because as a check on the mayor, as a check on the city council, there's independent le political legitimacy, moral legitimacy that stems from being elected by the people. That puts the city attorney in a position where they can be proactive and not uh, reactive or subservient to any other political interests uh, in the city.